Every year, Americans use more than 100 billion plastic bags. And Environmental Protection Agency studies have found that only 13% of those bags are recycled. The rest pile up in landfills, litter roadsides, and block drains. And they're not going away soon. Polyethylene plastic takes hundreds of years to decompose. But a newly discovered green chemistry trick could allow us to not only recycle more plastic bags, but actually convert them into highly valuable products, carbon nanotubes and carbon spheres. At the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory near Chicago, chemist Vilas Pohl has invented a simple, solvent-free, and environmentally friendly way to breathe new life into old plastic bags. Plastic bags are hard to recycle because chemically different polymers cannot be mixed together. Thus, the product you make out of it is not a good product. So what we did is we have a upscaling approach where we take the plastic bags and scaled off, making highly valuable product out of it. The process is simple. He cuts up the bags, stuffs them into vessels, adds a cobalt-based catalyst, and places the combined material in a small reactor, which heats it to 700 degrees Celsius. After three hours of reaction, the result is a fine black powder, which consists of millions of tiny carbon nanotubes. Without the catalyst, the process yields a similar powder of carbon spheres. The carbon spheres have potential applications in electronics, toners, printers, paints, lubricants, and even to cool down rubber in tire treads. And the nanotubes could make an even bigger impact. The carbon nanotubes can be used as an anode material for lithium-ion batteries. Those lithium-ion batteries can be used for your cell phones or in your future cars. Right now, manufacturers are charging $50 to $100 a gram for the nanotubes, more than the price of gold. Because conventional methods are so expensive, Pohl's technique could revolutionize the industry and cut the cost of consumer devices. So we are taking something waste and making really valuable, keeping the environment green, green and greener. Find out more about this and other green solutions at Argonne National Laboratory's website, www.anl.gov.